Did you find anything? No. This place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteon seen. Ah. Oh. Could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. And I believe that together, Alizé and I can overcome their will. I know. I know. But if there is a chance this will work, then I would take it. For everyone, and for myself. I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. Not for myself, but for you. The last to remain. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Then why suggest such a thing? It's too much to ask of anyone, even him. Why must he be the one? Why must he fight alone? More than a hero, he's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet, And yet... <laughs> Alizé, I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave him a new one. For instance, a path where he finds happiness at journey's end. This much, I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank you. What are you? If the plan's decided, then let's not dally. you are. It was as I said, was it not? 
It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. You sought out a Star of Promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters as did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their ends. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of Dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. For all the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That Meteon feared simply to move forward. But your fear is such that you've given up on everything. I know it well, that sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. We rise, fall, and rise again. and all the rest after that.
safe. Headache. Oh, they'll be fine. I know they will. Apologies for the interruption. A man arrived on the last ferry, an associate of the Scions. He wishes to speak with you at once. sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace. We will never abandon our cause. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. And we for our part are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Save your tears for the moment. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed be they for joy or for despair. and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. A future shaped by the choices we made, in ways we could never have foreseen.
Yet miracles do happen. So let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. There is no way to reach our nest. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled. Whose prayers were unheard. Whose labours were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a Theris. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough. Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace with That's why it's too soon for this to end. There are so many people in the world. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. Oh, it was I am ever grateful. We came to appreciate most of our stars that there remains so much we do not know. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. And Godspeed. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star. We shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it! The legacy I leave you.
I bid them remember. But all this time, I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. And to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. Oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch Enraptured from the stalls. But I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not anymore. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. You will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris. Past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus. Focus and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create Meteon, though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Elpis blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair.
In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. How disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed. That we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it and see that we all return to Etheris. Aye, as soon as we've averted the final days. Good to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it. Together. is open. They can proceed. So it seems. You're leaving? Of course. The Encore is finished. And I will not suffer myself to live again by Hydaelyn's magic. But more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Sp 
spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin, with new parts for all to play. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's north? The fabled golden cities of the New World? The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles? What about Mericidia, the southern continent, do you know aught of its present state of affairs? I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the reflections will surprise you. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, don't be that way. 